Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, the People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Here we are this week uh, looking at previewing week 12, the penultimate round before the finals. Um, but before we get to that, as always, thank you to Team Mazza uh, for providing us with our song this week. Um, this week is a bit of an ode to himself, I believe. Um, the hottest ticket in town. Uh, he's chosen a song um, by Robbie Williams, Let Me Entertain You. As Maz says, let Team Mazza entertain you as uh, we draw closer to the finals. Um, Team Mazza, the coach with tickets all over himself, is uh, very, very hard and very, very happy with the way things are going. So with that, we'll just put this song on in the background. Robbie Williams, Let Me Entertain You, um, yeah, as an ode to Team Mazza. Okay, well, week 12. Jeez, we're nearly at the end. Unbelievable how quickly uh, time goes by. Um, but in the first game of week 12, we've got Rock for Cash up against Team Mazza. Um, these guys have played each other 11 times with Team Mazza leading nine games to two. Uh, Rock for Cash has been hit dramatically this week with uh, buys. Uh, he's got five of his six players on the bench on buys uh, and the other player, Jimmy Graham, probably won't play with a broken thumb. So Cash has had to uh, do a moneymaker seven and become a waiver whore this week himself and pick up players just to fill holes uh, in his team. Uh, at the moment, the Cash is uh, in third spot Team Mass is in second spot on paper. This is the match of the round. In reality, though, um, it's going to be a really hard game for um, Rock for Cash to uh, win. Computers predicting Team Mazza to uh, get the chocolates in this one, 98 to 87. Um, look, the Cash is a realist. Uh, it's going to be really hard for the Cash this week. Um, so, look... The cash doesn't ever want to tip against himself, but like I said, it's going to be uh, really, really hard this week. Um, so yeah, we'll just leave it there and we'll just see how the cards fall in this game. Uh, in the next game, uh, little waiters traveling uh, down the Calder to uh, Ballarat to the Brown Stadium. The Browns train sitting on top of the ladder at the moment. Uh, little waiters in seventh spot. Uh, these guys have played each other five times with the Browns leading uh, three games to two. Computer has this one bit one-sided towards the Browns, 105 to 82. Like I say every week, the Browns train just keeps on keeping on and until they lose, the cash just can't tip against them. So unfortunately for little waiters, uh, I can't see you getting up in this one. And um, the Browns probably to win by that margin of about 23 points. <clears throat> in the next game, Archie's All-Stars uh, from Werribee heading over to Little River Giants Stadium in Lara. Father Cole making the trip with his uh, team. I think he'll be back from holidays by now. Um, Archie's All-Stars are in sixth spot on the ladder. Uh, Little River Giants are in tenth spot. Uh, Computer has this one, uh, 94 to Father Cull, 78 to the Giants. Um, yeah, look, again, we're getting to the business end of the season, so these coaches that are thereabouts are going to keep on keeping on, I believe. Um, so in this one, I'm thinking that Archie's All-Stars will also uh, get over the line over Little River Giants. Uh, in the next game, uh, before I go to that one, these guys have played each other six times with Father Cull leading four games to two. Uh, in the next game, Moneymaker 7, uh, travelling from Ballarat down to uh, Kelpie Stadium in uh, Werribee. Uh, the Kelpies on fire at the moment, um, won their last three games, sitting in fourth spot up against Moneymaker 7, the Waver Hall on um, four wins, seven losses in 11th spot. 
Uh, these guys have played each other nine times, with the Kelpies uh, up six games to three. Uh, computer has this one, the Kelpies winning 101 to 96. Again, the whips are cracking, so the cash is just gonna have to go with the Kelpies in this one. Um, although, of all the games, this could be the upset one. Mickety has a, um, has a history of upsetting um, favoured teams, so this should be a pretty good game, this one. Um, in the next game, Mitch's Mongrels from uh, Essendon travelling up the call to the Shiva Kamini Stadium in Mildura. Um, on paper, this looks very, very one-sided. Um, these guys have played each other 11 times um, in the past, uh, with actually Shiva Kamini leading seven games to four. Shiva's on the bottom of the ladder uh, at the moment. He's lost his last seven games. Uh, Mitch's Mongrels, good win last week. They've moved up to ninth spot. Um, yeah, again, the whips are cracking, as I keep saying. I think the Mongrels will get up um, in this one as well. Uh, probably by not as much as what the computer predicts, but... Um, yeah, I'm thinking that the Mongols, um, even without the Mahomes train, uh, Deshaun Watson uh, driving the train this week. Uh, Mahomes on the buy with all the chiefies, as the cash knows. Um, so yeah, the Mongols getting over the top in this one as well. Uh, in the final game of the um, of the round. Uh, smooth Criminal from Ballarat um, is going to go and try and find Young Remix Killer Stadium. It's a bit of a mystery of where it actually is at the moment. He's out shagging all the time, so there's no real home base. This could just be played in the streets of Melbourne. Who would know? Um, smooth Criminals lost her last two. Um, she's in eighth spot and... Young Mr. Cav is in fifth spot. Um, on paper, the, the computer's loving this match. Uh, Smooth Criminal, 95.09. Just losing to the Young Remix Killers, 96.86. Um, this is a game that I believe the Smooth Criminal have to win. They're sitting, like I said, five and six. To go five and seven, a couple of games out of the top four would be disastrous for her. Uh, Smooth Criminal come up against a refreshed rock for cash uh, next week uh, with all his chiefs um, having a buy this week. So the cash will be fired up next week in the last game of the round. Um, so with that being said, I think that um, it's going to lead to a absolute ring a ding, ring a ding ding match next week uh, with the cash. So I'm tipping the smooth criminal and a little bit of an upset here, uh, getting the chocolates against young remix killers by a couple of points. Uh, so with that said, just to recap the cash's tips, uh, he's going to tip rock for cash only because I am rock for cash, um, but not very confident. Uh, I think the Browns will beat Little Waiters, uh, Archie's All-Stars to beat Little River Giants, uh, the Kelpies to beat Moneymakers, Mitch's Mongrels to beat Shiva Kamini, and Smooth Criminal in a bit of an upset to beat um, the Young Remix Killers. Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, trading will officially finish um, tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on when the Americans decide it's November the 23rd for us. Um, so, yeah, so trading is pretty much done and dusted. So if you've got any, get them in ASAP. Uh, otherwise, like I said, last uh, cash, the computer just won't... Um, allow you to actually make any more trades. Um, also, just 
that you're aware with Thanksgiving in the States. Uh, there are three matches on tomorrow. Uh, there's a 4.30 a.m. game between the, the Chicago Bears, the Detroit Lions. There's an 8.30 a.m. game between the Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, there's also a 12.20 game between the uh, Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. So make sure your teams are all um, up to date and that you realise that these three games are actually on tomorrow, not just one game. Um, so that's pretty much it for Rock for Cash this week. Um, next week, round, week 13, the last week before the... Um, finals it will also be the semi-final of the fa fnfl cup so i will have the draws um sorted out and advised in the next uh cash tv on tuesday when we we review what has happened in this round so have a great uh week of uh nfl guys um and yeah hope your team wins all right then, that's the cash out.